。アイアムあーあーゆっくりレイム。アイアムあーあーゆっくりマリサ。In this channel, Monica explains SCP with the help of her assistants Yukuri Raimu and Yukuri Marissa. Please enjoy it as if it were radio before going to bed or as background music. ゆっくりしていってね。Please verify. Access granted. Item hashtag SCP 087. Object class Euclid. Document hashtag 087 2. Exploration 2D 9035 is a 28 year old African American male of strong build. Psychological background indicates no abnormalities except an extreme hatred for women. Subject has an extensive record of data expunged. D 9035 is equipped with a 100 watt flood lamp with battery power capable of lasting 24 hours, a handheld camcorder fitted with a transmission stream, and an audio headset for communication with doctor at control. D 9035 is also equipped with a backpack containing 100 small LED lights with adhesive backs and battery lives of approximately 3 weeks. Lights turn on and off by compressing them. D 9035 shines the flood lamp down the first flight of stairs. Despite the extra wattage, the light does not illuminate beyond the ninth step. D 9035, you want me to go down there, Doc? Doctor, please shine your flood lamp outside of SCP 087 to verify it is functioning properly. D 9035 shines the light into the hallway. Comparison with the footage from Exploration I confirms it is indeed brighter. Doctor, thank you. Please continue to the first landing. D 9035, hey doc, I know what you said and all, but I don't think I want to go there. Doctor, please continue to the first landing. D 9035, doc, look, I, doctor, interrupting, as per our earlier conversation, Please continue to the first landing. D 9035 pauses for 18 seconds, then descends 13 steps to the first landing and stops. D 9035, is that a kid? Doctor, please remove one of the adhesive lights and affix it to the wall on the landing. D 9035, Doc, you hear that? Is that a kid down there? Doctor, that's unconfirmed. Please affix an adhesive light to the wall and verify it functions. D 9035 hesitates, then removes one of the lights from his backpack and adheres it to the wall. He presses on the light, and it turns on. Doctor, please turn off your flood lamp. D 9035 hesitates again before turning off the lamp. The LED light illuminates the landing, but does not extend beyond the first step either way. Doctor, thank you. You may turn your flood lamp back on. Please continue to descend. At each landing, affix an LED light to the wall and turn it on. If you notice anything unusual, please report it. D 9035 turns the flood lamp back on, then descends the next flight of stairs. As he sets foot on the landing, the audio picks up sounds of pleading and crying. Consistent with those of the first exploration. Doctor, can you still hear the previously reported audio? D 9035, uh, yeah. She sounds about 150, maybe 200 meters down. Am I supposed to get her? Look, Doc. I don't do good with kids. Doctor, please place the light and continue down until you notice anything unusual. The subject adheres the light to the wall and turns it on, then continues to the next landing. He adheres the third LED light to the wall and turns it on. D 9035 continues in this manner for the next 25 flights before stopping. D 9035, I don't think I'm getting any closer to the kid, Doc. Doctor, how far below would you estimate the source of the sound to be? D 9035, 
same as before. 150 to 200 meters down. Doctor, thank you. Please proceed. D. 9035 continues in the same fashion for the next 24 flights. At the 51st landing he stops. Footage shows an arced gouge in the concrete wall, estimated to be approximately 50 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. The first step down from the landing appears to be completely smashed into rubble. D. 9035, you see that? Doctor, yes. Can you please describe what you see? D. 9035, looks like something slashed at the wall, and the step over here is all crumbled up and stuff. The slash mark looks really smooth, D-9035 touches the gouge mark. D-9035, yeah, it's smooth. Feels like glass. Doctor, thank you. Please continue down. D-9035, look, Doc. I think I've gone far enough. Doctor, please continue, as per our agreement. D-9035, I don't want to be doing this, agreement or not. Data expunged, D-9035 steps over the destroyed step and continues down the staircase. Nothing is notable at the next landing. D-9035 adheres an LED light to the wall and continues in the same fashion for another 38 flights. The sound of the crying and pleading still has not gotten closer. D-9035 is on the 89th landing and 74 minutes have elapsed from the beginning of the exploration. Subject is estimated to be 350 meters below the initial platform. D-9035, I feel like the kid's just trying to lure me down here, Doc. I think it's time for me to, D-9035 stops talking and moving as the flood lamp illuminates SCP-087-1. The face is staring directly at D-9035, again indicating awareness of the subject's presence. Although SCP-087-1 appears to be unmoving, its location is 38 flights below the initial encounter in Exploration I, indicating it is mobile. Doctor, is there a reason you stopped? D-9035, unresponsive, D-9035's breathing grows labored. SCP-087-1 remains immobile for an additional 13 seconds. SCP-087-1 blinks. D-9035, yelling, incomprehensible, SCP-087-1 jerks forward until it is approximately 90 centimeters from D-9035. Subject turns and flees up the stairs. Doctor. Please relax and calm down. Turn around. We need a closer look at the face. D-9035 ignores Doctor and continues rapid ascent. He continues to scream incomprehensibly. Doctor, D-9035, can you hear me? Please slow down. D-9035 is unresponsive and continues rapidly climbing the stairs. His screaming diminishes to babbling. After ascending 72 flights, D-9035 collapses on the 17th landing. Doctor, D-9035, can you hear me? D-9035 is unresponsive, but labored breathing can be heard through the audio feed. For the next 14 minutes, D-9035 is immobile. The visual feed is black and audio picks up only the subject's breathing and the continuous pleading coming from below. After 14 minutes and 32 seconds of unchanging visual and audio feeds, the sound of a rapid heartbeat not consistent with a human heartbeat, and a low cracking noise is heard. Seven seconds later, D-9035 gasps and revives, continuing his ascent of the stairs rapidly and wordlessly. The heartbeat and cracking cease, and nothing abnormal is detected on the visual feed. He remains unresponsive. D-9035 exits SCP-087 and sits on the floor outside of the entrance. D-9035 
9035 then enters a catatonic state from which he has not yet recovered. I have a great time. Thank you for watching. I live in Osaka, Japan. If you subscribe to my channel or press the good button, it will encourage me in the future. Please keep supporting and watching.